let's talk about aging for a second. So as we're measuring aging, I've heard, I've read some things, that, so understanding what's happening. Could you explain to us, is it, the, is it the cell's inability to now read the DNA like it used to? Or what's happening that's causing this to happen in our body? And is what I just said completely ridiculous? No, it's correct. Seriously, okay. you, you summed it up probably better than I could, okay. which is uh, the analogy I use is, is a DVD, these old things you used to put movies on. But they're a good analogy because you can actually scratch them. Okay. Right? And so a DVD is the digital information. And our genome, our DNA, is digital. Instead of zeros and ones, it's ATCG chemicals. That information is actually very robust. You can get it out of an old person. It's intact, mostly. You can get it out of a fossil. It lasts for thousands, if not millions, of years. That's, that's the cool thing about digital information. Okay. It lasts. But there's another type of information that controls the reading of those genes. Yeah. We call that not the genetic, but the epigenetic information. Mm -hmm. And epigenetic basically says, um, how is the DNA organized so a cell reads the right genes at the right time? Mm -hmm. And we don't know as much about it because it's much harder to read the epigenome than the genome. Okay. The reason is the epigenome is not digital information. It's, it's actually analog. Mm. It sucks. It, anyone mm. who's had a cassette tape or a, you know, a phonograph or a record player sure. um, is actually experiencing the problems with analog information. Okay. There's generations of of people now that don't, have never experienced analog in their lives. Mm. But trust me, analog sucks. And our bodies, yeah. half of the information in our bodies is analog. Okay. And that's the problem. That's why we age. Okay. Because the analog, we have an analog system that reads the DNA. Mm. And over time, it doesn't read the right genes at the right time anymore. Yeah. Okay. And cells, when they don't read the right genes, they don't function well. Mm. So our blood glucose goes up, we get weak, we get diseases. Mm. That's aging. But also, what happens is that the cells forget what type of cells they are. Yeah. They despecialize. We call it ex-differentiation. Mm. Essentially, we become a melange, a collection of cells that for have forgotten what kind of cells they should be. Got you. And that is pretty bad news, right? Yes. If you scratch a DVD, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. We've been looking for the polish on that DVD, and I think we found it. Okay, and it is? Well, we call it reprogramming. Okay. Genetic or epigenetic reprogramming. And it's a set of genes that we can put into cells or into the eye of a mouse yeah. and reset the age of that animal. Remember that clock that we're, we're yes. going to measure on you? Yes. We call that the epigenetic clock for a good reason because okay. it's, it's actually the analog changes in the cell. Right? Okay. But here's what we can do. We can actually tell the cell, now that you're old and you're not reading the right genes, go back and read the genes the way you should. Okay. It's essentially polishing the DVD. Another way to think of it is we're rebooting the cell. Yes. We've got corrupted software. Screw that. Mm -hmm. Let's restart the, 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 the whole computer. Okay. And you're young again. Okay. Right? Erase the hard drive, start again. Wow. But we didn't know that was possible until wow. a year ago. Wow. Wow. That's what's in the book. I was writing the book as we made these discoveries. Wow. Wow. Imagine that. There's a, there's a, a memory of being young in our, all of our bodies that we just have to tell reset. Oh, my God.